Hey, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. That is my name. So, I have been meaning to do this video since like May, June of this year. Yeah, I, I, I didn't do it. Took me a couple of months, but now we are here. And, uh, bringing out the phone because we are going to go on Goodreads and check which are the worst books I've read according to Goodreads. So very much according to Goodreads and uh, let's see uh, what they have to say really. So let's go on the red thingy. I see average rating and we'll do the the worst books first because I'm gonna do the best books as well. Um, I'm just not gonna post it until a little later. Um, the reason I'm doing the worst first is because I have a feeling the best one is is gonna be like Harry Potter, and um, the worst ones are gonna be sad. <laughs> so we start swinging with the negative ones and going towards positivity. Yeah. So. So, according to Goodreads, the very worst book I've read is Sociable by Rebecca Harrington. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely agree that it's one of the worst books I've read. Is it the worst book I've read? No. Um, it has an average rating of 2.33. Uh, it has 1,300 two ratings and 317 reviews so not a lot but still a decent amount of you know votes I guess I'd say this book was was it worth reading not really because it doesn't really have a like it doesn't feel like it has a meaning to it at all so it it was one of those yeah, but I wouldn't say it's the worst book I've ever read. And next on the list we have Four Blondes by Candice Bushnell. This has an average rating of 2.84 and it has 25,326 ratings and a hundred, uh, sorry, no, a thousand and nine reviews. So this one is way above the other one. Uh, and still it's very, it's marked quite far down. Again, I wouldn't say it's like it's a really, really terrible book. Um, but also, I mean, I don't regret reading it, but I could have lived without having read it. Yeah. And on number three, we have me Being Me is Exactly As Insane As You Being You by Todd Hazek Lowey. Okay, um, Oliver, that is, that, that, that's not great. So this book, first of all, uh, this book has an average rating of 2.90, uh, 2,547 ratings and 538 reviews. So this book. First off, it's a big chunky book. Did it have to be that big and chunky? Definitely not. So the thing about this book is it's totally written in list form and the fact that they managed to write a entire novel just based in list <laughs> and you still get a sense of what the hell is going on now that is interesting. I feel like the concept is very cool, um, but it was a definitely a way too big a book, way too long a book. It was a big chunky book, um, too much for what it was. Because you get into like, after a couple of hundred pages, you're like, I've had enough now. <laughs> When's this thing gonna end? It's a cool concept though. 
And on number four, we have Heartland by Anna Simo. So this book has an average rating of 2.94, <laughs> 66 ratings and 18 reviews. So it doesn't really have that many people having voted on it and still, yeah. This would definitely be one of those books that is <laughs> Definitely, definitely one of the worst books I've ever read. Um, first of all, I have no idea what the plot was. Second of, it kept jumping back and forth between characters that had no meaning whatsoever and would go into from like semi-normal scenes to like very weird sex scenes. Not weird as in, this is very kinky, hell yeah. No, weird as in, what the fuck, are you having sex or are you trying to kill the person? That's kind of vibes. So, yeah, no. Definitely not what book I recommend reading unless you, you know, have the time. On number five, uh, we have The Frozen Woman by John Mitchell. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's originally in Norwegian so it's been translated into English and I read the English version because uh, well, I probably could read Norwegian but it would be a lot yeah so I'm not gonna this book has an average rating of 2.94 283 ratings and 56 reviews um, it's also apparently the ninth book in a series. Uh, I haven't read the rest of the series, but I felt like this book was definitely just readable as a standalone. I did feel when reading it that I was missing some bits here and there as, um, as far as like the main character. So he's a detective trying to solve this murder and so, so on and so forth. I felt, the only thing I felt about reading in the ninth book in a series was that I felt like I didn't know the main character enough. However, I did feel like it could be just as well as a standalone. And as far as I know, this is the only book in that series that is actually translated into English. So someone must have thought that it would be a Good, it's good enough as a standalone, which I would agree. Would I say it's one of the worst books I've read? No, actually no. I don't think I would have picked up this book had it not been in a in a bundle, because this is one of the books I bought for one pound. And had that not been the case, I probably wouldn't have picked up this book because it's not normally something I reach for. Um, but I. I don't think I'd say it's like one of the worst books I've read, so yeah. And number six we have The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins, average rating of 3.8, oh eight. <laughs> Uh, 5,753 ratings, 1,264 reviews, so a decent amount. Yeah, this, this book was definitely not for me. <laughs> um, I would definitely put it in one of the worst books I've read category. Um, only because I felt like the characters didn't have enough depth and the plot was too predictable and then all of a sudden it just ends. So we didn't really get anything from it. Or I didn't really get anything from it. So in that sense, yes. But also, it's a decent enough read. <laughs> in number seven, we have Seen It uh, by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Um, I don't remember this book enough, well enough to say a lot about it. It has an average rating of 3.10, 4,948 ratings, 1,490 reviews. 
So it's been a while since I actually read this book and I can't say I remember much of it uh, except for it had a lot of very weird lines that didn't really make much sense. Uh, very like cringy lines. Um, I think they're meant to be funny rather rather than cringe but yeah. Um, I do plan to reread this book because uh, I have the second book and I kind of want to refresh my mind because this has been a while. Apparently 2019 so it's not that long ago but apparently long enough for me to not remember most of it. Okay then. <laughs> Uh, number eight, we have Beyond the Bounty by Tony Parsons. It has an average rating of 3.16, 148 ratings and 23 reviews. Um, this uh, is a quick rates book, so it's a very short book. It's like less than 100 pages, I think. Um, I don't think it says on here. No, it doesn't. Um, I remember not liking this book at all, so yes, I would probably put it in this in the worst books I've read, um, only because I think it was too short to actually get anything from it. So that's the problem with most quick reads books is that there's not enough time to like write a full novel in the amount of pages and words they have to do it in. And sadly not a lot of authors can do this, there are some that can and others that are not as good at it as as you would hope so yes for that reason i would put it put it in this in this uh category um had it been like a full-blown novel quite possibly it would have been a better book ha however it wasn't really my cup of tea as far as what the plot was about either so and in number nine we have the betrayal of natalie hargrove by lauren kate so it's i think this is like the first published one i i'm not sure um it has a average rating of 3.18 6150 ratings and 751 reviews <sighs> yeah the plot of this book was super predictable and the characters were just very unlikable uh the writing wasn't the best but then again, I'm pretty sure this is um, the first one um, that she published. Um, don't quote me on that, but I, I think that's the one. I, I mean, she could have published other, other works that um, I don't know about. Either way, uh, number 10, which I feel should be the last one because we could just go on forever. Number 10 is also a Lauren Kate book. It's Waterfall, which is the second book in the Teardrop duology. Um, it has an average rating of 3.20, 8,039 ratings, and 862 reviews. Um, so the Teardrop duology was very much like um, finding what's the, yeah, the lost city of Atlantis. Uh, and basically it's about this girl who, when she cries, it floods. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I'd put it in the worst books I've ever read because I did, I've only read it the once, maybe I should reread it. Um, I mean it wasn't the best duology in the whole, as a whole uh, that I've ever read, however it wasn't that bad. I wouldn't say it was that bad. I've read way worse books than that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I hope this was semi-entertaining for you. And uh, uh, yeah. Let me know if you have read any of these books that I just mentioned. And what you thought of them. And uh, yeah. Until next time. I'll take care. Oh, bye-bye.